everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. This is a very quick video because the topic came to my mind and actually, you know when a lot of pieces of a puzzle just fall into place all at once? And then when they do fall in place all at once, you just get that inspiration and you're like illuminated. So this is the thing. Uh, quite a few seasons ago, um, many, many moons ago, I made a video in which I touched base on a topic called Lux is only half of luxury. I went really into detail in that video about what that means, but I'm going to touch base on it right now. And why is it so important that I'm making this video so quickly? Because Black Friday is coming up. How are we going to connect this to Black Friday? Stick around and you'll see. A lot of people, social media community, vlogger, blogosphere, uh, also people that have nothing to do with social media but just like love to consume luxury, they love to use that term luxe. You know, oh, that bag is so luxe, that outfit is so luxe, uh, the t-shirt is so luxe, I'm into buying luxe, I love luxe. Well, most of the time, People do it for all the wrong reason, and that is not luxury. And I say it in the title of this video as well, Lux is only half of luxury. It's not just spelled as half. I mean, we add the E. It's not L-U-X. L-U-X from Latin means light. But L-U-X-E is the abbreviation of luxury. It's almost half of luxury. So I call it half of luxury because usually the attitude that goes behind using that terminology delivers only half of luxury. As Coco Chanel says, luxury isn't the opposite of poverty. Luxury is the opposite of vulgarity. And lux is usually associated with vulgarity. Now, we have to be poised and graceful. If you want luxury, you gotta deliver luxury in return. It's a give and take. It's a symbiotic relationship between you and your surrounding. You and your surrounding is what is important. Combined together, you obtain luxury. Lux stays only half of luxury. So, how does this tie in to Black Friday? Quite simple. Usually, you know, Thanksgiving, I mean, we know the truth behind Thanksgiving and we know uh, the sad story about America and Thanksgiving, you know, what really went down with the Native Americans. But how we perceive Thanksgiving today in terms of sharing with our loved ones, sharing with our neighbors, sharing with our family, sharing with our friends, right? The idea of kind of Black Friday is the day right after Thanksgiving when also the brands that uh, have had us as customers for many years or over throughout the year, uh, they want to say thank you to us in a way. So what they do is they reduce prices to kind of thank after Thanksgiving to thank their consumers. The idea per se isn't all that bad. If it weren't for all the marketing ploys that a lot of these brands use to trick us into rushing and gushing and kicking each other and stepping over other human bodies to obtain what we want to obtain, that, that's when Black Friday becomes luxe, only half of luxury. You're running after something uh, that is reduced and you're thinking you're gonna be the you know, big beep because you're going to have it because you got it for a cheaper price. That's quite vulgar at the end of the day. I'm not saying it's not good to have a great deal, but it's the way that at the end of the day, the Black Friday thing has become a sort of rushing, gushing, pushing and shoving other people to get what you want to get or to get what you think you want to get just because a brand used the brand marketing scheme on you, making you believe that you want that product even more than you actually did. That's what becomes vulgar. And it's something that we should not strive to. So what I am doing for Black Friday uh, is not reducing something, but it's actually adding something as a thank you. I have created a special design just for Black Friday. Uh, and it is my t-shirt in my merch uh, store, the Fashion Bunker merch store. Just follow the link in the description box down below or the bar, the scroll bar at the bottom, and you will find it. And it is... A t-shirt, let me move to the side so you can see it here. It is the Lux is only half of luxury t-shirt. Uh, I designed it, I created it, you have my signature at the bottom and uh, it is the font that I use for my thumbnails. So it is as if it were a thumbnail of one of my videos. It is the Lux is only half of luxury shirt. That is my Black Friday contribution to the black, dark souls that have become our consumer souls in this day and age. I hope you understand the logic behind this, and I hope you appreciate this. I don't have the t-shirt in my hands right now because this has been a last-minute decision. The design happened just now, 
as is this video happening just now. So let me come back to you. That's why I'm not wearing it just yet because it is so fresh out of the design mind <laughs> that it is just now in the store, but I will be ordering one as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am wearing Vivian Westwood, the Freedom Fighter, the one and only. This is organic cotton. She made this piece. It's, it's knitwear. It's kind of skimpy, but it's amazing. It's a statement. It kind of brings us back to the roots. It almost has an ancient Greek or Roman flair or allure to it. Uh, and I'm living for this piece. It is used. I ordered it secondhand, by the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. This design is for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you wish to help uh, the channel grow even quicker, you can support me on Patreon, Super Jacob, all spelled together. And for the rest, the merch speaks for itself. Thank you guys so much. Love you. See you soon. Bye.